Hey y'all, this is Ursin, welcome back. Welcome back to our DD journey of Stanislav Poniatowski. We continue France as, uh, you know, the war weariness is still here. We're still stacking up. I'm, I'm a little concerned about going after the Russians again uh, so soon, man, because the war weariness is not going away. St. Petersburg is still uh, weary as hell, let's put it. Uh, Kazan's still a little messed up, Moscow's messed up, Smolensk is messed up. Basically all the places where I would need to make sure everything is okay, uh, they're all a little unhappy still. So we gotta we gotta wait it out a bit, but we will. We'll eventually get there. We're also getting an amenity, remember, uh, from Peter. If I'm not mistaken, we're getting caviar. So we can't really, <laughs> how appropriate, right? Uh, we can't really just go nuts on everything either. You just stay there, that's good. Because we have to consider that, and when we uh, down, we might lose that particular thingy, particular bonus benefit. Lilies with a cavalry will grats. I have this feeling. God, he's got my kinetic infantry already. Son of a bitch. How high on like science is he? My god, 54 techs for his hour five. He's only five ahead. Oh, this AI is tough to catch up to, man. Deity's hard, yo. Uh he's here. So it makes sense though. I guess he did have satellites. You want to give me. You want, oh, you want to give me poppies for my syrup. And we can take, why don't you take uh, this instead. No, you really want my syrup. Hey, you just said that was okay. Yeah, what this? Yeah, there you go. You're just touchy-touchy, aren't you? Nestor is going to help, though. So I'm actually going to probably, let's see if we can do this just amenity-wise. No, he won't. He wants to spy. But actually, I'm going to keep his spy. I'm right on cash, and I'd rather than him not have another spy running around. So let me go ahead and just do this deal, I think. Yeah, we'll just do that. I'll give him 2GBT, no big deal. Thank you. You are welcome. All right, cool. All right, let's see. That's fine, that's fine. We got this, we got this. That's good. I think we start repairing some of the pillage tiles, maybe that'll help the war weariness. I'm not entirely certain how uh, or why that goes away in the end, but we're going to try our best to make that go quickly. Better to fight for something than live for nothing. Right, I got a destroyer here and uranium. Do we have any uranium people? Let's see. Yes, it looks like we do. Yep, there is one. And... Over here? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we have two sources of uranium. Nice. We can set up the modern tanks, yo, which is good. You need to get a unit there. Probably should do that soon. Research lab, we'll do that first. Actually, how many turns does it take to me to get a worker these days? Let's see. Hold on. Get back to Lublin for a second. I know all the calculations are off. It's fine. Uh, where are we? Builder 3. The uranium can wait. We're not using that anytime soon. I'm probably not going to be nuking anyone anytime soon either. Kind of don't like that as a general modus operandi. Y'all might criticize me for that, but you know, reasons. Uh, zoo, more amenities. Yeah, let's fix this up a little sooner. I think the sewer can wait. I mean, we're going to be low on housing, of course, but let's do the zoo. Okay. Alrighty, can we doubt you yet? I think pretty soon we'll be able to, but not for long. Because I'm a little worried. So these amenities just take so long to come back. The war weariness is such a pain when you... I mean, we didn't even surprise him. We're technically formal war him even. How much worse it would be if we surprised war him? Jeez. It would have been terrible. Also got a thing. We need a frontline unit over here, I've realized. It could be a bit of a pain in the butt since he has nothing but Cossacks. I guess I could use a tank over there. Let's use a tank. It'll be easy to take the city with it. I just need something to stip those artillery from getting mauled, basically. Alright, that's fine. Leave it like that. Okay, we're good. Onward! Onward to glory! And repairing things. Because that's what we're going to do now. Thank you! Well, I'm glad you're impressed. I'm going to kick your ass, but I'm glad you're impressed. It's so nice. Evil deeds of Russia. Ah, uh, yes! She's gonna joint war probably, and not joint war. She's gonna probably down them now that you know. 
I'm here to let her take advantage. You're gonna pillage that, right, Barbarian? Don't be an idiot. Hmm. Oh, stop it. Why are you pissed? I'm a warmonger. <laughs> You're about to like me a whole lot less, buddy. You're about to like me a whole... Oh, you made a resort there for me. Thank you. Oh, you made two resorts. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna use that well. We've almost got this here aerodrome, which is gonna be good. So we can actually start dropping more air units there as time moves on. What do we have here? Oh, I went too far into Cold War. Damn it. Go elsewhere. Do... Yeah, let's get some of these. Maybe some of these will be useful at some point. Uh... Yeah, let's go... One of these is really, really good. Good one to pull. Let's get that one. Radom! Power plant? Or stock exchange, then power plant. Or neighborhood, because I need that neighborhood. Wait a minute, no. Radom, do we place the neighborhood in Radom? We did. Yeah, there we go. Do that, because I need the boost to my civic. Four envoys. God damn, that's nice. All right, what are we going to do? Uh, holy sites we don't really care about. Everything is at max? No, not everything is at max. Buenos Aires isn't at max. But we can get them pretty damn close. Uh, yeah. We can get Antenna Revo as well. Is this the one that gives me a nice... 2% for culture. Yeah. Is Pericles on that one? No. But we're going to take that one back for Suzerain T. And we'll put the other three in Buenos Aires to get it a little higher up. Because a little bit of production goes a long way for districts. Ooh, what's that? Lapis. Oh, that's what Lapis looks like on this particular game. Very cool. All right. You're still there. It's fine. Can we dow the Russians yet? Not yet. But soon. Uh, you hang out right around the... Actually, there's no good place for you to hang out except for here. Yes, that is correct. All right, good. Onward, onward, let's keep going. Like I said, it's a bit of a waiting game right now. We're getting our last science buildings up. We'll get some more aircraft going, and then we'll all be better. Wow, how badly is Arabia getting handled right now? Oh, they're getting handled pretty well. Good God. Yeah, when you've got two enemies, oh yeah, Arabia's done for. They're done for. You want one of your spies back. Yeah, buddy. Uh, I could give you a spy back, because you're going to die soon anyway. But then the deal will be expired when I dow. So really, I just give you your spy back and we'll get much out of it. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. But you can maybe pay me for one of my Luxes for a little bit. 13 and 7. Yeah, that'll do. So you value my Luxes, because you know how much it sucks right now not to have anything. Give me some money. How about I give you flat gold? That'll be much more valuable than anything else. Oh, stop it. Put your hand down. One, two, one. Fine, I'll take the flat since uh, he's going to be clear. That will need that. Roman's launched the moon landing already. God damn it, really? Oh, God. Is Rome going to run away with the science victory here? Well, they've got a little ways to go yet. I mean, that's a little frustrating. I mean, I, we knew they are going to have to get at Rome at some point, but... This is getting a little annoying now, because they have so many rocketry sites, too, so it's like we're not really sure where... Oh, there we go. They're working here, I think. Look at this. See this? You can always see when there's some progress. But you can see they're our friend and ally, so we can see where they're actually concentrating the next project. They're building all of these, but they're not really doing any... I mean, if I'm reading this correctly. They're not doing anything there. Let's see. Yeah, this is still in process. That one's not doing anything. Just the gantry just kind of sitting there. Not doing anything. But here, here they're doing something. This is the one at Ostia. I'm trying to get the next one up. It's going to be interesting. All right. Let's repair some stuff. Maybe make St. Petersburg feel a little better about themselves. Oh, they're not. They're still angry. Come on, war weariness. Go away. We haven't been at war for a while. Stop it. Stop it. You're irritating me now. Actually, it's really irritating. Come to think of it. Why are they doing that? So cruel. So mean. And the next thing I'm probably going to do here is get some more frontline units. I'm really low on infantry, actually. So I'll need more infantry cores, I think, sending over to Moscow to, uh, to deal with Astrakhan and Lyon and Paris and all the other beautiful places we're going to attack. So we'll see. 
Field can earn incendiaries. Oh, grats. Vilush. Or should build the theater square in Solikomsk. Okay, well, they can do that if they like. It's a little problematic, though. Because he might start moving some of his goods there. Some of his great works. Uh, so, yeah, it's clever. Clever. I don't want to take another crappy city off him. He's probably banking on that, honestly. But, oh, whatever. So I'm just a little concerned. If I take all these cities, I'm going to be really in the hole on amenities, which I can't afford to be. Warsaw. All right, good. Let's just get the stock exchange done. I'm putting that off. I'm going to get some more airplanes done. The encampment there is just there. No rush on it. Pause nine. Uh, a lot of things we can be doing here. Let's get the production down the military academy. That'll help later on when we get the infantry production train going. Hey, you got a builder, Smolensk. Very good. Uh, in that case, why don't you go ahead and get me an entertainment complex. That's all that's going to be good for here. And we can go and help your production out. See that? See how this works? It's all going to be good. You'll see. You'll like it under the Polish rulership. It will all be better. All right. This is what I need to see. I need to see where I need to go to steal things from the French. This is the easiest way to do it. So, yeah. Paris, Rennes, and Amboise. Those are the places. Yaroslav Sully comes the only two places he has room. Really interesting. Uh, but yeah, so. Okay, yeah. Rennes, Lyon. No, Rennes, uh, Paris, and Amboise, which is what we saw right there last time. And then for the Greeks, when we plan our assault on their culture, uh, nowhere? That's not true. Come on, they have to have their Acropolises. What? So how do they have so much tourism? So is it not visible to us? Yeah, there you go. Well, there's no great works. There's great works here. Why can't I steal that? That's such a weird thing. Okay, so that's not the greatest indicator then. So maybe I have to do this manually? But well, that's really awkward if that's the case. All right, well... All right, we'll figure it out. We'll do it right. But anyway, Shimon, for now, go ahead and set up some sources. We'll do that for your spy mission, and then we'll roll the turn over and see what's what. So let us go onward and see when our people become happy again. Which will be a little while, I'm afraid, but hey. Details, right? Check one little thing. I know Trajan's going to the moon. But let's see. Culturally, you have... 316, 316 tourism. Uh, for now, yes. For now, yes. But soon... Oh, stop it. Snively whiplash. Sit down. There's going to be a time when I'm going to need Rome not uh, to be my friend. But for now, I need to keep him off my ass. So that's the important thing. Yeah. All right. It's because we're going to be handling the Greeks and the French first. That's my plan, at least. I can't have Rome getting suspicious too much, and I can't have them fighting me yet. Uh, soon, though. Soon. It's going to be. It's going to have to happen because he's getting too close to the science victory eventually, and we gotta make sure we don't lose. So, or we're gonna try not to lose. Either way, like I said, journey not destination. That's what makes Sibs fun. Which is not just an excuse in case I lose. No, actually, I do have people believe that it's a lot of fun to get there. Let's see, Smolensk, you got that done. You work in that tile, which is already a lumber mill. Yes, yes. Turn that into a mine. Turn that into a fishing boat. Okay, that's our next goal. So do this. What requires orders? Are you our defensive spy? You are Kadazhenka, yes. Quartermaster, yep. So you're going to stay in our capital. Mm-hmm. Gonna counter spy where we've been counter spying, which is here. What is this? We got a CB against Peter. Hey, very nice. Uh, heavy. How is this heavy? We have a CB. He's a dick. We shouldn't have a heavy penalty. We should be doing awesome. And we still have the same amount of war weariness. Look at this. 
The newly conquered cities. Oh, it really begs the question whether I should Dao him yet or not. Hmm. I need to redeploy here. We only deploy with a certain range. Okay, we'll we'll rebase when we have that damn thing. Uh, who needs amenities? St. Petersburg. I know. I know. Let's see. Four out of seven. That's just ridiculous. But I mean, our amenities have stabilized elsewhere, as you can see, which is nice. So we can probably start pushing a little harder. We also have a couple of policies we can throw in uh, that permit us to get a little more out of this as well. Um, the amenities from theater squares and a couple other things like that. I think I want to check actually. Yeah, how many great people are still available? I've still got a bunch. So I do want to try to get these if possible. I think the Russians are going to get Edmonia Lewis. Stop moving this. We might get a musician if people don't buy it out. And the Russians are getting the right. How do they have more points than us? Yeah, they can't have more points than us. But some people are constantly getting things that is not us, and that's frustrating. How the Russians are beating us here, I'm not entirely certain. 9 versus 25.5. Might be able to steal Klimt. Oh, wow, somebody already got the previous artist. Jeez. Only the... hmm. Ваш народ достоин восхищения. Искусство, наука. Чего еще желать? Exactly. See? You should be jealous, not angry. All right. Synthetic materials. Aircraft. The elite can be attracted by the momentum. The mental of the masses. Uh, we need to change this. We need to change that. Where's gumbo diplomacy? There we go. Very nice. Yes, yes. But thing. We're really desperate for amenities. We can go ahead and throw in uh, this public festivals. We can throw in this, not jousting tournaments. Jousting tournaments we still have? What the hell? I guess we can still do those. Or we could always new deal if we really are desperate and our economy is collapsing because of our warmongeriness. But for now, this is all necessary. Once the great people go away, we'll give some more flexibility. We do want to keep the tourism as much as possible. Because uh, we do have good stuff for that, so that's good. A crap ton of culture. But the amount of tourism the Greeks are popping out, they're always... Always the Greeks are in the game, and always they do insanely good on culture. They're always so strong. 432 culture per turn, 320 tourism. Like, we're in second place, mind you. Like, we're doing good, it's just... You can't compete with that. We gotta handle Pericles. I mean, the French aren't as scary anymore, but they have so much tourism we could gain that taking them down is worthwhile. Alright, so we have still not a boost to Cold War soon, baby. So that's good. I research. I don't know, what do I research? What should I do? I could do nuclear program, I guess. Um it obsoletes inspiration. I'm trying to think of stuff that's simple to do that I still want anyway. The neighborhood will have the boost soon. I need to do class struggle, get the other government, get the other major policies, and then we can shift from there. What do we have? Production wise. And who do I sue them to with? Oh, seriously? Someone just decided to screw me for fun? Uh, get the hangar, I guess? Yeah, get the hangar. But you need to go and rebase. Good, now we have vision. And we'll go ahead and deal with this. The council comes. And this war is not going to be long, so even if we hit some serious warriorness problems, like we can still. I think deal with it. I'm just worried about St. Petersburg. This is going to be the biggest issue. The old capitals have trouble. And Antonio, someone stole my, someone stole my suzerain tea. Oh wow! Curtin put in all four of his. He really wanted that one. Okay, asshole. Well, whatever. Uh, you're the builder, right? You did things already. We need to improve a couple tiles too. I think there's a couple things I'm working that are not improved, like that forest and that forest. That mine improved? It's pillaged, I see. Alright, we're gonna repair that while doing those two forests, yeah? How many more builds do you have, buddy? One. Okay, let's repair this first. <laughs> okay! Alright, onward for now. I declared war on Saladin. It's fine. Oh, stop it. You're being a punk. You are being a punkus. Alright. But I think Yaroslav. Oh, you need to upgrade you. Right, right, right. I mean, I don't need to worry about the professional army right now. It's honestly just going to be one upgrade. Not going to be that expensive. 200, 300 maybe tops, which I can easily afford. So Yaroslav yeah, needs to go down. Asakhan needs to go down. Tula needs to go down. After that, it'll be easy. Probably Asakhan first. They have a encampment. 
And then we'll go to Tula. That's my guess. I don't think Peter has any... Oh, he does have Kumasi, actually, as a suzerain. I'm surprised. Um, because he's Kumasi. But that's it. Okay, that's fine. We can live with that. Come on. There we go. Told you you could do it. Yeah, late game. Turns turn over a little slower. Sankt Peterburg. Uh, repair these things, repair these things, or build me a stock exchange. I mean, this is money, and everything else just takes time, so let's do the money first. This is what we're working? That's what we're working. All right. Make them mine. Thank you. We also need to do those fishing boats next, right? Yeah. Fishing boats, fishing boats. Hey, I like this. This is good. Now you're you're good where you are. Stay right there. How's our amenity situation? I'm just so deadly afraid of this going to hell. Yeah, it takes so long for the warrior-ness to go away. Man, at this rate, like, am I chaining the war through here is going to be really difficult. There's got to be, like, a better... Uh, I think I may need to switch out a policy maybe next turn. Get rid of a little bit of science, I think, because we're going to do just fine on science. Our science is really, really strong anyway. And take the propaganda policy, because this is ridiculous how much uh, we're suffering from the war weariness. Yeah, before I doubt, I think I need to do that. So I might give us three more turns before we deal with Peter. Gives him time to build a military, but at this point he's not going to be doing much, I don't think. Are you going to down me? That would be funny. Curaziers and Conquistadors. That would be hilarious. Annoying, but hilarious. Or he could be coming after me, though. I mean, not after me, after the Russians as well. That would be kind of a freebie for him, more or less. And, yeah, he does love freebies, so... Eh. We're the Pike, too. These are going to be expensive, actually, in Toto, but whatever. Details. Who built what? In the opera house. Okay, well. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Hello? Did I not upgrade you? Oh, it's not my turn yet. Okay. <laughs> and here I thought I was actually gonna be able to do something. There we go. Cold War is not gonna From good. In the Baltic to Trieste in the Adriatic, an iron curtain. Let's see, so across the continent. Naval, cryptography, containment, uh, atheism, and additional spy. If you goody, go on goody. with this nuclear arms race, all you're going to do is make the rubble bounce. Ha uh ha. -huh. So I actually don't need to wait three turns. I can probably down now. If we put in... Not defend the land. No, no. Where is this? Empire. Martial law. And wasn't there propaganda? Yeah, we can do martial law and propaganda. We have 50% less war weariness, which we may honestly need. So what could I cull out? I mean... What we're gaining right now is the tourism, and I don't want to... Okay, that war weariness is gone now. St. Petersburg is still weary. Yeah, that just did not go away, does it? Okay. So I need to put this in wild card slots. So I have to pull out, I think, rationalism is going to hurt. And I'm going to have to pull out Crown Republic, I think. Because these are the ones that give us the most, and we still want the great people points. Uh, so, we are 240 and 233. So how much is this going to hurt us? Probably a lot. Then we're going to go propaganda and martial law. Uh, yep. 233, 240. We go down to... It's going to hurt a lot, actually. 180. Hasn't gone down to 240. Okay. Well, maybe next turn it'll rotate over. But yeah, that hurts, but the good thing is our science is already doing good because we're building the research labs that's going to stay more or less constant. Uh, radio is here. What is this? Plus some food to fishing boats. Ooh, that might be good for my southern city. They're kind of suffering under lack of food. Computers give us... Alternative meals do it. Oh, shit. Why haven't I done computers yet? Tourism meals are doubled. I'm an idiot. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, that's... That's really unfortunate, actually. That was pretty stupid of me. Really should have known. Because I do know that, actually. <laughs> and I didn't get computers early. Oh, derp to the derp. So how are we doing on tourists? I mean, no one's in the, ri the risk of winning. We're in second place anyway. That's pretty freaking solid. Um, with computers, we'll be up a little higher. But we need to keep moving. 
Okay. Anyways, let's down the Russians. Uh, nice and quick. CB. I'm not going to wait too long here because I need to go against the French and the Greeks before I shift to the Romans. Uh, so this, unfortunately, is going to have to be a little messy. I'm afraid St. Petersburg is going to be very pissed at me, but hopefully not too pissed. But if this war comes in here, they're going to be very, very angry indeed. So we'll feel it out. Let's down the Russians, though. And go to town. Uh, yep. Yep. What's up, Russia, but I see you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Except we did it already, and it was pretty good. All right, cool. So, now we go have fun with Yaroslav. Ha, ha. One shot. These defenses are going to take a while to penetrate, but we do have an artillery as well, and that's going to help. Good. You're going to shift in here so you can do your thing. You're there so you can do your thing. You're there to provide support bonuses. You are a builder. Go there. And it's never going to take pot shots at this. Yay! <laughs> We're helping! We're helping! All right. What else is going? Uh, Warsawa. Encampment? No. No. We can do a sewer, actually. We need housing in Warsaw. Mm. All these things I want to be doing. But this would give me way more, I think. Let's get... Let's get neighborhood next to the mines. I'm sure people love living next to the mines, right? Next to industrial space. That's always quirky and quaint. There's neighborhood there. Oh, wait a minute. We have radio boost? Oh, national park. I guess we... What? I don't know where we got the boost from, but hey, whatever. Details. Let's blow up some Astarakan, shall we? Yeah. Artillery are going to be where the work is going to be done on these defenses, in all honesty, but hey. We'll be alright. Air attack. Very good. Alright, so Astarakan will be quick, I think. So will Tula, and then we should be able to move on with our lives. Hey, new route. Let's get me money, please. That'd be fab. Uh, Jeddah. Or Sevilla. Let's head to Jeddah for now, because it's an interesting route I haven't had. But Jeddah's not going to last very long, because I think that route's going to get uber cancelled uber quick. But honestly, how bad is our warriness going to be per turn? Uh, it's not going to be good. We didn't shift over turn yet. Oh, you need to upgrade. Oh, yeah, all right. Go do this. Thank you. And that's probably... I think that is actually a, uh, a quest. I can go ahead and hit Yaroslav as well here. Speed up the wall damage. I suppose. I mean, every little bit's going to help here. And the faster we knock this down, the better. I'm just going to take a little bit of suffering because of it. But all right, whatever. Can't do much about that. Let's go hit this thing. I mean, how much damage could a sub really take? Answer, probably a lot. 85 strength city. But we'll be all right. Get over here. We'll do more things. Get those defenses down sooner. You can lock in... And see how much... I mean, there's two factors here, right? War weariness is one. Two is that we don't lose anything. Because that generates a lot of war weariness. So be a little careful on that. But this should be a quick war. And we'll peace out as soon as humanly possible. And track this every turn to see how bad. Because that might actually change our strategy. If we take way too much war weariness here. Uh, and we see that we can't continue just running on. Then we may need to rethink who we down next because if the Russians get to the Russians the Romans get too close to winning I might have to deal with them first or try. I mean hey, we'll see how this goes yet uh, Okay, he's not attacking. Did you hit any of my You didn't hit any of my subs. What are you doing? Russia, what are you doing? You're supposed to injure my units. They're in range of your city Why did Yaroslav not? Oh Jesus. Oh hi! Oh, hi. Well, so we have problems, friends. We have problems. We just got rebels. Like, whoa. Are you kidding right now? This went down to minus three warriorness overnight. And now we're in revolt. Great. And you spawned four. Oh, it's so nice of you. Dick. All right, that's going to be a giant freaking problem. Oh, dear God. Okay. Well, all right. Um, let me take down the city first. How much did we actually lose on Warriors here? We lost three here, two there, and nothing in Kazan. St. Petersburg, eternally the problem here. Yeah, Peters. It's like Montezuma's Revenge. Just a colossal pain in the ass, no matter what we're doing. 
however far back we are, he's always just like, Montezuma! And then we shit ourselves or something. I don't know, is that how it works? I think that's how it works. Right, we need to go ahead and deal with these things, like stat. I'm not stopping here, because I need to not have this happen anymore. I need you to die. And I think we might be able to kill him nice and simple. There, go forward. Ugh, it's gonna be a pain. I didn't think four tanks would be what was gonna happen here. That's a little unfortunate. We're gonna use our other units to basically fight this. Major defeat, why? Oh, we have less base strength than a tank. Oh, interesting, I had no idea about that fact. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Go over here. Let's do the damage we can. These tanks are gonna be able to run rampant on us too, that's a scary thing. Our machine gun core is gonna help out a lot. Well, let's just start blowing these up and see what happens. Clear this part up so our machine guns can support. Say, oh, what the, that's a hill. God damn it. It's a hill, friends, it's a hill. Tank stay. Wow, that's the first time I got that many rebels in one turn. <laughs> oh, the things we learn about Civ. Oh, that's a pain in my asshole. Get the theater square done. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. Is ridiculous. Um, send to Madrid is fine. Wow. All right. Well, we need a tank destroyer. Go, go, go to it, buddy. Go to it. And you need to wait to take you out of love, and then we can focus everything on that. Sniper, you might actually come in handy here, but the problem is I can't move in. Otherwise, I'm gonna get pinged by this damn encampment. So we're gonna have to deal with that. All right. You got a promotion. Cool. Yay, do strafe, because you're kind of offensive, aren't you? You are. Astrakhan. Astrakhan. Breaking things in Astrakhan. Alright, let's see how bad St. Petersburg is going to do, because this is going to this is gonna suck. I may need to get some of my battleships on that, honestly. The artillery is doing most of the damage to Yaroslav as it is. But that's unexpected. Where did barbarians get a tank and a machine gun? Good God. And this is a problem, too, because they can probably run pretty hard through most of my units. I'm not careful. What, did you just say I had a good culture? What happened to my culture, actually? Oh, I think St. Petersburg completely stopped producing everything it was doing. Yeah, because it's in revolt. Yeah, okay. They kind of dropped. So that's unfortunate. Uh, but it was necessary to be done. What happened? Oh, really? My city center can bombard airplanes that are stationed? I did not know. Stop it. He's going to down me. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, friends. This is going to end well. How bad? How bad is this going to hurt? They sh if they're stupid, they should attack the city center. They're just going to run out and pillage stuff. Okay, that's that's okay. As long as you just go around running around pillaging stuff, then I don't particularly care. As long as you're not stopping my war effort, then I'm pretty happy. We'll be all right. Then this will be dealt with. Post haste, good sir. Chop, chop, eh? All right. Good. But now we know we have to really, really, really not uh, not push this too far. The war weariness issue, especially St. Petersburg. God damn. People get happier. I guess when we take care of the Russian lands, they'll be happier. Next to an old neighbor or something. Anyways, I'm a nurse. This has been a mess, and I'll see you all next time as we learn how to play Civ in heavy war weariness situations. <laughs> Till next time. Till then.